Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A year ago, I let you know that according to Google, since the Speedometer 3 benchmark was released, Chrome had increased its score by 72% through different optimizations and updates, saying that it was the fastest web browser. I'll leave the video linked for what it's worth. Now, basically a year later, Google has said now that it has achieved its highest score ever on Speedometer 3. And in case you're unaware, Speedometer is a browser benchmark that measures the responsiveness of web apps using demo web applications to simulate user actions such as adding to do items. Now, I'll leave the Speedometer 3 um, web page in the description if you'd like to go check this out for yourself. I have posted a couple of videos on this so if you want more info just do a search on the channel. Now I'm going to start the test and just to mention there are flashing images so if that's not your thing maybe this is not the video for you. So while this runs I'm just going to carry on. Some more info regarding Speedometer is it's a benchmark created in open collaboration with other browsers and measures web application responsiveness through workloads and they cover a large variety of different areas of the Blink rendering engine used in Chrome. Now, according to uh, Google and this announcement, Google says that since August 2024, Chrome's performance has improved by 10% on Speedometer, which Google estimates that across all Chrome users, these changes save 58 million hours or around 83 lifetimes every year. That's quite a prediction, so to speak. Now, how Google said it achieved this 10% um, improvement on speedometer is it refined how Chrome passes HTML, handles JavaScript, processes styles, layout of pages, and the way it renders pixels. From optimizing memory layouts to overhauling string handling with faster hashing. So that's more or less how they achieved this. Just a quick overview um, regarding that 10% improvement. And as you can see, here's my score, which does vary. I tried this out um, before posting and I got over 6 and now it's below 6. But I, have, I am recording this video in real time and I have got some other web apps open. So that could be the reason why. So if you want to run this test, I would suggest closing all other apps and just having one tab open in Google Chrome. And I think to a certain degree or other, this was also, would also depend on your internet connection. Now, if we have a look at the little chart and graph provided, this gives us some interesting stats. And this latest Speedometer 3 score, Google said, was measured on an Apple MacBook Pro 4 with Mac OS 15. So here we can see some stats. As mentioned, the higher is better. So we started with Chrome 128, which was on 42.84. And we are currently now on 137, which is the latest stable release of Google, 137. That hit 51.43. Then the beta, that's 138, which will be our next stable release, 51.83. And we can see 139, which is in the dev channel, 52.35, which Google says is its highest score ever on Speedometer 3. So I thought this was interesting. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't know if Chrome is the fastest web browser across the board compared to some other mainstream web browsers. But personally, I do feel that if you tweak out the browser, as in you slim it down and you turn off all unnecessary extensions and settings and so on, the browser can be quite snappy compared to other browsers. So run the test. Let me know what you guys got. I'd be interested to know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.